Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to print multiple designs on a single page from Canva. If you have an awkwardly sized design and you know you're not going to be able to fit more than one of those on the same page, head on over to my how to print awkwardly designs from Canva tutorial which I will link to down below. In this tutorial, the goal is to print as many designs on the same page as possible. So for this example, we're going to use business cards, which are usually an inch and a half by two and a half inches. We're going to fit as many of those as possible onto an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So let's head on over to Canva and get started. So I created my canvas, my eight and a half by 11, which is what we're going to be printing. That's why I named it printable document. And then we are going to head on over to our business card design. And I'm gonna shrink this so we can see it a little bit better. So we have the front and the back. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to copy and then we are going to paste. Now you'll notice that the background didn't follow and this also looks more like a square than a rectangle, which a business card is. So here is what we do to get around that. First, we're gonna delete this. Then we're gonna head back to our business card and we're going to click here and you'll notice that this is a background color. Now, when you copy a design from one canvas to another on Canva, the background color doesn't follow. So what we have to do instead is we have to make the background an element. So how we're going to do that is we are going to click elements. We are going to search for the square. You don't want to use a rectangle because if you use a rectangle, you can't resize it easily. And we're going to drag this up here so that way I can get a hold of it and move it. And then the nice thing about Canva is that it usually saves the colors under document colors. So we're gonna pick that and then we are going to drag to the very edge. Now you wanna make sure that you don't go beyond the edge and I'll show you why in a moment. We are going to position this backward so that way this is in the very back and our design is in the front. And then we are going to select this entire design we're going to click copy and we're going to click paste. And you'll notice the background still doesn't follow. This is super annoying. You have to do one little extra step in order to get that background to move. So we're going to head on back here and you'll notice that the selected section ends here. It doesn't include this. So what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on that background rectangle. You're going to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then you're going to select everything and you're going to let go of your mouse and let go of your shift key and then copy and paste and there you are. Next, you're going to align this to the very middle and you want to have your design as far into, there it is the margins as possible. So I like to have it line up to the center line. So let's say our design goes a little bit beyond the margins, that's fine. I really like to make sure that it's centered. The reason why is when we add all of our other designs on here, you have as few cut lines as possible. But the reason why you wanna stay as close within the margins as possible is so that way your printer doesn't cut off any element of your design. So let's say you had your business card all the way out here. Your printer is most likely gonna cut off close to half an inch. So some printers can print to the edge and if you have that kind of printer, then by all means, squeeze as many in here as possible. But if not, we are just going to use this method kind of got to drag around. So we're going to try to align at the top first. There we go. And then go to the center. So now what we're going to do is copy the back of the business card over. So we're going to head back here. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're just going to select everything, copy and paste. And you'll notice that if we line this right up to the edge, then there's no, there's no gap. There's no um, white border around this business card. And then also too, you'll notice that the line of the business card doesn't cut off where it should. So the flower extends beyond the line. So here's the trick that we're going to do. We're going to head back to elements. We are going to search for a line choose this one 
and then zoom right in and drag that line to the very top pull it the full width and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shrink that line down as much as possible so we're going to make it a one and then you'll notice that there's still a little bit of an edge here so you want to kind of line it right up just like that so then you're going to copy paste and you are going to want to do this around all four sides so you're going to paste again and we are going to rotate this come on while kind of shrinking it so you want to make sure that you see 90 degrees that means the line is straight come on Ooh. sometimes if that if you drag it too far off the edge then you lose it here we go okay like i just did i just lost it we're gonna drag down then we're gonna copy all right so now you're going to copy the whole kit and caboodle and you're going to paste it in and now you line up that line to your other business card so you have as minimal a cut line as possible so you're just going to cut right on down the middle so now that we have all that set up we're going to copy and paste and the problem with this design is if you line this right up to the top You'll notice that the design overlaps. So you want to give it some space. Oops. We still have that kind of overlapping. And you want to make sure that you don't accidentally drag the stuff up here. So what you can do is once you get this situated, you can click all of these elements and you can lock them. So that way when you select the bottom stuff, that's all you're dragging, you're not touching the top stuff. And you wanna make sure you select everything. You wanna get that line here. So you're gonna drag it. And then you're just going to keep pasting and dragging and adjusting. So it looks like we can fit three business cards on this page so technically if we didn't have these things kind of overlapping on the design of above we may have been able to fit four cards on a page sometimes there is a way you can work around it what you would do is you would add a white rectangle so I'll show you you would add a white rectangle to cover up that design So that way you could kind of get this up to the edge. So I'm going to drag it down here. So you could drag it up to the edge and you would see you wouldn't see that overlap which would be great but the problem is with this design in particular if we added a white rectangle which I sneakily did at one point in between recordings I added this white rectangle to see if it worked on this side and it does not which is frustrating that's just the nature of how this side works sometimes the white rectangle method works sometimes it doesn't it really depends on your design another trick you can do if you really want to maximize space is you can have a page of just the front and a page of just the back and you may be able to squeeze more of these together on one page the main important goal is to make sure that you leave a margin around so that way your printer doesn't cut off your design in any way and try to have as few cut lines as possible. It will save you so much in the end. So being able to print multiple designs on a single sheet of paper on Canva makes it so much easier and more environmentally friendly. When you are ready to download this, click on the download button here. Make sure PDF print is selected from these options. You don't need crop marks and bleed you're printing on your own printer and you pretty much have your cut lines established you would click download and then you would go to print 
I hope that tutorial helped. Again, if you have an awkwardly sized design and you really can't fit more than one on a single sheet in Canva, check out my other tutorial, which is linked down below. If you are looking to learn even more about Canva, including tips and tricks like this one and expand your graphic design skills so you can learn how to make eye-catching and on-brand designs, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva, which is also linked down below. I hope this tutorial helped and I will see you in the next video.